Good afternoon, besties. It's currently Saturday when I'm filming this, and obviously I have my Ninja Creamy, but it is the day before my long run. So tomorrow I actually have a 15 kilometer long run, and you guys are gonna get ready and come along the ride slash run with me. So when it comes to long runs, there's obviously a few different aspects to them. What is most important is the prep for them. If you don't prep right for the long run, you're not going to have a very successful long run or fun long run, mind you. So in this video, I'm just going to take you through my long run prep, what I do, what I don't do, and why I kind of do it and how I think that that helps me. Obviously, every single person is completely different. So take what I say with a grain of salt or see if it helps you on your long run if you struggle with little things here or there. So we have bathed, laid there, soaked, really just kind of relaxed basically just focusing on resting the legs because if i don't actually like get in the bath i'm not gonna sit down so now i lay out every single thing i need for tomorrow just to make sure that like everything is ready to go like i'm in no rush at all but it's handy just to have everything laid out so my shoes of choice the asics super plus um as i said before i have 15 k's tomorrow so this is going to be my shoe i'm tempted to wear these on race day because i am 10 weeks 10 weeks no weeks out from my first half marathon so yeah trying to do my longer runs in these bad boys i've just put my undies down my socks are the lulu lemon power stride socks i am loving these they aren't a bad price point either for running socks top i'm wearing just a muscle republic luxe singlet super comfy i'm gonna pair that with luxe biker shorts and i'm actually gonna do the old trusty luxe strappy back bra these are really nice and supportive and just kind of hold girls in now for the accessories so black i do have a pair of oakley radars that i'm obsessed with give them a quick clean and i just kind of lay those next to i have a toxic trait of forgetting these but it is actually super handy to make sure that i have them just a Lulu lemon running cap. Again, love this. Mainly, obviously, for sun, but then it also keeps the hair out of my face, which is super. And then my pride possession, my Solomon running vest. So I'm going to get my hydration in the fridge, and I'm also going to put some snacks in. Taking the chocolate oat bite by Ems, and then also an energy gel from Coda. So I'm going to aim to refuel every five or so case. Best actually came with two water bottles, but I'm only going to take one. So I'll fill that up and I'll put it in the fridge and then chuck it in the freezer for a few minutes before I go in the morning just to kind of make sure it's nice and cold. But there we have it. This is the running kit laid out, how I do it every single week. I don't tend to listen too much when I run. If anything, I'll listen to a podcast, but I do need to make sure that I've got these packed just in case because after about that 8K mark, it's just, it's just not right, love, love, love. So super important to have these. Obviously before any run, you need a decent meal prior, but it also matters that you have a decent nutrient-dense meal the night before. So I basically, I'm half vegetable at this stage because I just love veggies. But I've just got steak, pumpkin, zucchini, broccoli, um, feta, greens, the whole lot. Then after this, I'll just have a yogurt bowl and some magnesium and then try and get a good night's sleep. Here we try again. he has potentially done his ACL so he actually slept on the lounge so he could sleep upright so your girl had 
the whole bed to herself. Sorry, Blake. But it's actually really nice. So right now I'm just making my staple bagels, honey. And I've been having powdered peanut butter for no reason other than I just find it really yummy. <laughs> but this is a pretty dense and carb heavy meal snack vibe so i'll have this we're gonna sit and do some reading i'm really obsessed with my book it took a turn last night and now i'm like eager to just continue reading it but i have to go to sleep i went to sleep at about 8 30 last night which is late for me but i got into my book um so yeah we'll sit eat this i'm gonna make some electrolytes read and put the recovery boots on having these electrolytes i just got them on sale so they're the ones we're having. I usually just get the Woolies home brand ones because you can get some like really expensive ones, but you don't do Coffee. thankfully cleared up it actually looks really pretty out there now there's like a pink sunrise so let's get going before the rain comes back i'm just trying to like think of a route in my head that is like similar because the one that i enjoy running on is a dirt track and i know it'll be a bit muddy but i'm kind of just like mm, stuff it i'm gonna run on it anyway because I mentally have it mapped out in my head to equal 15 kilometers. Um, glasses on top of things because I'll need them in probably like half an hour. Got my AirPods, got my vest, we'll put my water in my vest. Oopsies. Okay. I just put my phone in this one here. I do take it out of its case though. Just it in like like that and that is us the full fit check stunning let's get going actually i'm going to put some blue steps on and then we can go so we'll do a bit of a warm up at the front and then get cracker lacking it's more take it easy first two k's and then hit like a 60 -ish minute pace so we'll see how we go I'm about 1k in, heart rate looking good, weather raining but holding out so I'm actually really excited for this run. Said dirt track that I was chatting about. So we are 5k's in which means we only have two more 5k's to go because 15 kilometers is only three 5 kilometer runs. You gotta go math. But I'm actually feeling really nice just focusing on controlled breathing, yada, yada, yada. So we've just hit halfway, which means there's only one and a half, five k to go. Oh, that's so bad. But feeling good to be honest, which is nice. Holding about a six minute pace. We have 1.5 to go. Struggle Street is on, but we got this. Hello, it has been a few hours now. It's currently 2.30, far out that day's gone so quick. It's actually Blake's birthday. So we've gone out for breakfast, done the whole lot, and then I've just been sitting, sitting, sitting down editing this vlog. Vlog, video, running video, I don't know. So this will be live when I'm, I think, about nine weeks out, which is actually crazy. So thank you so much for watching. I have never been a runner my whole life. So if this is something that you want to do, reach out to me because I'm here to help you, cheer you on and support you through your journey. Because this has really proved to me that like we are capable of doing anything. Yeah, you may have to train damn hard to do it but you're truly capable of actually doing anything or achieving anything you want. So 
thank you so much for watching also none of the products or anything that i mentioned in this video are like a non-negotiable or must to run if you're looking at getting started running invest in a pair of joggers and go from there that is where i started and now we've got the glasses we've got the vest the whole kit and caboodle but it's not necessary it's not needed just wanted to say that thank you for watching i'll see you next week bye